kill someone and not get charged with murder? It's a question on many people's minds. After a few big death cases in our area recently where no one has been directly charged with anyone's death. So what exactly is going on? Valley News Team's Gabriel Osler spoke to the Cass County State's Attorney's Office today and has more in this VNL investigation. The Fargo Police Department says that on June 24th, Amir Logan shot Zion Brooks in the face, killing him. They even took the unexpected step of holding a news conference portraying Brooks as the victim of a senseless tragedy. Well, really just a good community member that was trying to work with everyone else to keep that area safe. So you know, it's really a shame that this happened to him. Yet, as of this recording, Logan has only been charged with two counts of unlawful possession of a firearm, not murder. Court documents have painted a history of conflict between Logan and Brooks. Ryan Youngren, the personal crimes team leader for the Cass County State's Attorney's Office, couldn't go deep into specifics. It's still under investigation, so there's not a lot I can say about the details. But did say there's more to it than meets the eye. More came out that definitely changed folks' minds about what was going on there and why. The case of Alexander Anderson raises similar questions and contains similar answers. Anderson was allegedly stabbed to death by Robin Lee, but Lee is not facing any charges at this time. Youngren said that he understands the optics of these situations, but the burden of proof is greater than many realize. We can know a lot. We can know a lot of things, see a lot of things, and then the old saw goes, okay, now prove it. And so when that comes to us, we have to go to a beyond a reasonable doubt standard, beyond a reasonable doubt standard, have we proven this crime? And said his team remains focused on obtaining justice in as many cases as possible. In Fargo, Gabriel Osler, Valley News Live. Logan did post a $5,000 bond on July 8th and is currently out on bail.